Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now we've got a little bit of an SWP video for you this time. Skill with prizes going back specifically to this machine here called the Mating Game from 1994. But first a little bit of background to the technology that this ran on which was a sort of subset of the MPU4 technology that was used by Barcrest and BWB and other companies at the time. This was MPU4 video and there were quite a variety of machines that were released on the MPU4 video platform. I'll try and bring some of them up for you here. The, uh, the, the emulator does like to grab the mouse when you mouse over, so let, let's have a look if we can uh, manage this. Uh, you know, uh, go on, go on, go on, Dexy, you can do it. Come on, you can do it, son. There we are. Right, okay, there we are. So, <laughs> BWB used MPU4 video for machines like Miami Dice and Reno Reels. Uh, Mizuma Bell, I think Mizu uh, BWB started using it in the £4.80 era. And this was a fairly short-lived tech, certainly in the AWP space. I think it went from 4 80 to £6, and I think some of them got £8, uh, £8 upgrades, but I don't think any of them were real natively done in um, £8 jackpots. And Barcrest also used them for their skill with prizes machines like this one here, Strike It Lucky. You know, you, you pay 20 quid with a, a nominal cash prize of 20 quid, which you could win if you were capable of answering two and a half million questions about, you know, which year in the 1850s was a particular corn law reform bill passed. Was it 1852, 1853 or 1854? Now... I do believe that back in the day, some some people actually learned the entire question sets on these old skill with prizes because obviously uh, memory was limited, so there's a there was only a, a finite amount of questions that they could store in the ROMs on these things. And apparently, if you could learn the whole lot, you could do okay out of them. Uh, never did it myself. Now, the focus of this machine is, and I will be getting back to. MPU4 video AWPs in due course, not least this one here, uh, Miami Dice, which we have a amazingly gorgeous uh, altered EMU layout for. That That's going to be for a future video. These SWPs uh, probably deserve a, a video in themselves as well. And also, what else? I had one more. Well, that was, yeah, I, I remember now. Oh, fucking hell. Did it. Let's close that down. I've tried to actually try to do a little bit of preparation this time. It's all gone horribly wrong. Right. So the specific ones I want to talk about uh, on this are the Crystal Mazes and the Mating Game. And the Crystal Mazes just as a little bit of a lead-in, really. Now, there were two of these Crystal Maze machines that I remember. Now, the first one, which I have even... Oh, come on. Will you just grab the mouse, please? It's Oh, dear. It's all going horribly wrong. The emulator just loves to grab your mouse input. There we are. Right, now that was the first... I can tidy this up in the editor, it'll be fine. Right. This is the first crystal maze machine that appeared. And we can just see... I'm at maximum zoom here. I can't make this any any bigger. And, and this, I think, is, is one of the few images that I can find of this. This first came out in 1993. And it turned up kind of en masse. These things were really quite popular, in certainly in pubs and arcades. Arcades, I would say, to a lesser extent, but they were very popular in pubs. And what you would find is where a pub had, you know, like two fruit machines, and it, this is the £6 jackpot era. There would have been two £6 token jackpot fruit machines in the pub, and they tended to find room for one of these things as well, uh, and a crystal maze, and it was a pound a go, but it was like a, you were guaranteed a certain amount of playtime, even if the thing didn't want to give you any money at the end of it, you would get kind of five, six, seven minutes of, of game for, for your one pound, and at the end of it you'd go into the crystal dome, and you'd have to collect, in fact I think, uh, no he's not in the crystal dome there, you can, we haven't got a screenshot of the crystal dome, but at the end of it you would go into the crystal dome, and you'd have to collect uh, gold tokens, avoid the silver tokens, and if you had more than 50 gold tokens at the end of it, you got the five pound cash jackpot.
And then there was a second release. This one came out in 1994, and I think we can actually see that on the copyright screen. Yeah, there we go. Which was a, a variation on the theme. They added a four-player mode. It was still a £5 jackpot, but if you could beat the high score, which it remembered, you could get a bonus £5. So that you can see there on that screen there. So technically, this had a jackpot of £10. Now... These first two crystal mazes, I, I was actually pretty good at. Now, this one here, I remember on the original chip for this, it all, even when it was on its arse, it always put an absolute minimum of 59 gold tokens into the crystal dome at the end. And if you had enough time, and I used to reckon I needed about 45 or 50 seconds, which would be 9 or 10 crystals, if you had enough time on that, even when it was basically in its dead mode, if you were super, super careful in the crystal dome, you could get your 50 gold tokens even after deductions. Usually with, like, no room to spare, you, you'd get, like, 9 silver or maybe uh, eight silver, you'd have like one or a leeway of zero or one, but you'd get the five pound jackpot. They rechipped this, and I remember them rechipping it, and it went from a minimum of 59 gold in the Crystal Dome to 51. And once it went to 51 gold, if it was on its arse and it didn't want to pay, it was effectively impossible because you couldn't avoid collecting at least a handful of silver. And then on this one here, this one was a little bit more of a dirty bugger because it had the first version of the crystal maze, the one that we were just looking at, that had like a crosshair, a very good targeted crosshair to pick the tokens out the final game. Whereas this bugger here had more of a, like a grabbing hand thing. It was far less accurate and you needed more gold tokens available to you in the crystal dome to get your 50 after deductions to get the five pounds. And they were progressive, basically, that the more money they took and the closer to paying out they got, the more gold tokens that they would put into the Crystal Dome game. And I used to do okay out of these. I mean, between the two of them, between... I used, I used to love these. If I could keep myself off the fruit machines, because I think as most, you know, if you've ever been addicted to anything, really, gambling included... You'll go through phases of quitting. Right, that's it. Fuck that. I'm not doing that anymore. And if, if I could manage to say, right, that's it. I'm done with fruit machines, which, which did happen periodically. And if I could discipline myself to go out round the pubs with me mates and just play the Crystal Maze SWPs and the mating game, which we'll get to, I could kind of have a free night out. I mean, obviously, you're never winning much because if you're pounding and get a fiver, you've won four quid. And sometimes it might take you two or three quid to get it. But drinks were cheap then, you know, entertainment was cheap then, and an evening on the crystal mazes and the mating games were the SWPs that I could make money on. I could have a free night out of those. They'd they pay for my beer, they'd pay for the jukebox, maybe some pinballs, some pool, and, you know, we'd get uh, chips, fried rice and curry from, uh, from Ken's Chinese Takeaway on the way home. So I quite like these things. And then in 1994... So let's get rid of that one. In 1994, this turned up, the mating game. Now, the interesting thing with this was it had a £20 cash jackpot. And remember, this is 1994 when your fruit machine jackpot was £6 tokens and £3 cash. This thing had a £20 cash jackpot. And the interesting thing about it was you could choose what you wanted your prize to be. And if you never played this game back in the day, you're not familiar with it, don't worry, I will go through the whole thing. But in essence, what you could choose is your prize. And if you imagine going to the Crystal Dome in the Crystal Maze, where it was always just a fixed prize, you either got the fiver or you didn't. On this, you could choose your own jackpot from 1, 2, 5, 10 and 20 pounds. And what I used to do on this, once I got my eye in with it, if I found one that I'd never played before, I'd just go for the £20 cash jackpot. And that used to work quite well at train stations, because this would be like in train station bars and things like that. Had a few £20 out of this. If it was in a pub that was local to me and I was more on top of, I would generally go in for a tenner 
or a fiver and then if it didn't let me have a tenner I'd play again and go for a fiver if it still really didn't want to let me have a fiver I'd then maybe go for a final game and just get me two get two quid back out so I was three quid in for two quid out they, they, don't get me wrong they were never massive money earners but if I could discipline myself and stay away from fruit machines I could get a free night out off the skill with prizes machines now these have only been available to us since the release of MFME v5 uh, in late 2016 because MPU4 video was a newly emulated technology at that time and I was absolutely drooling at the prospect of playing all these MPU4 videos again. The BWB video AWPs in particular, like Reno Reels and Miami Dice and Monte Carlo or Boston Mizuma Bell, all that kind of thing, they are fantastic and they deserve a video of their own. But it also opened up all these SWPs as well, and that is what I'm going to be playing for here. So let's, I'm sorry, that is a fucking dreadful preamble there i've been yapping far too long there um this is possibly not going to be very good I'll, i'm going to give you a disclaimer straight up front here it is saturday night uh, my family is upstairs it's saturday night and i have got some hellish weeks at work some very busy weeks at work coming up starting on monday morning so as it's saturday night before that i hope you can understand that i've had a couple of small sherries and um, i will be continuing in that vein as the evening goes on so expect even more dire incompetence than usual because obviously you're gonna have a couple of beers on the last saturday night before you know you're going into a really busy period at work so Okay, so it's a pound in a go. You can play as a female and, and get to play as a lady in her underwear chasing a bloke. That seems slightly inappropriate. So I will play as a chap in his underwear trying to woo his partner with uh, various gifts. So once we get into the game, what you're going to see is it's basically like a maze and you have to go around the maze. You have to collect three presents to open the crystal dome game as it were you then have to also collect coins and the number of coins that you collect will determine what your jackpot is you've got a little condom thing called johnny be good who is your bonus and then of course you've got various what i'm going to go for is a mix of trivia and challenges so there'll be squares around the maze which are either a question or a challenge so let, let's go into it and see so the first thing you want to do when you go in is appraise the maze as it were so that you can see my partner up at the top left hand corner and what you want to do before you get too far involved is work out where you need to go and what you need to do and so what we'll do we i'm going to go for the 20 quid here by the way so i am going to go for mr ed i have no idea that was, I should say, oh yeah, Alan Young. <laughs> if I got it right, I could pretend I knew. So, can you see there, my jackpot's gone up to a quid. The next coin I collect will take it up to £2, £5, £10 and £20. I've got one of the three gifts now. There's another one in the bottom left-hand corner there, so we'll go for that. Uh, you know what? I don't know. In Inglis sounds <laughs> about right, doesn't it? Now then... There are more than one of the presents, so you don't have to go. There's only one of each coin. So if you want the 20 quid jackpot, you've got to get all the coins. Oh, hang on, I've got to concentrate on this, sorry. Oh, you know, I only got one there. That was really bad. I should be getting at least two. So green dude, yellow boobs, brown, green glasses. Uh, oh, where was he? There, he was there. He was there. Yes, yeah, so she's there. I haven't got red purple dude oh that's a nice easy one uh larger lady oh no oh, that was wrong wasn't it sorry oh, she's there and she's there isn't she that, well, that was imperfect but you see there i'm nearly out of time you don't you, there's not much margin for error in these things so i'll, I'll get down there because I, I can get the flowers and i can get the passion oh this one's impossible basically there is a slight issue 
on the emulator with this on, on the inputs. I even bought a trackball. And I've, unless there's a setting that I'm missing in the emulator, there is a trackball sort of sensitivity setting, which I did have a play around with, but it's still... Come on. Come on, come on. This is so hard, this one. Come on. Oh, practice. That's so difficult. I mean, the, the thing is with these, these games, they were all difficult on the original machine. And the input, I've got to be honest, the input doesn't seem... This is how you win noughts and crosses, by the way. The input somehow just doesn't seem quite right on the emulator. I, I do struggle with it a bit. To the extent that I bought a trackball and it, 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 I still can't get it... I mean, it was clunky hardware. This is the thing, it's clunky hardware to start with and you're going through sort of the abstraction of emulation. Now, how am I supposed to know that? There, no, bat on, bat on fucking rouge. I, oh, come on! I don't know that. Sorry, don't know that. Now, the physical ones can be quite hard. Oh, this one is basically impossible because you just can't get the sensitivity right. I've got the sensitivity... So I'm using this combination here of keyboard and mouse because I've got the mouse sensitivity turned down a little bit to try and facilitate slightly more granular movements. But in essence, you, you nev the physicals are, are just kind of a... A bust, really, if I'm honest with you. No, nope, that, that's dead. I haven't managed that one once yet in the emulator. So that is going to be a bust, I'm afraid. So I have got that. So we've got... Now, we've got all three gifts. But I do... Oh. Well, we'll go through there. Because even if I lose, I can get the passion. Okay, so we've got... Two... 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 Yes. Oh, God, they're quite hard, those. But you, what you've got to do with those is kind of learn the questions that it's going to ask you about them. So, right. Um, so we'll get, so we can get Johnny B. Good down there. There's a coin down there that I'm going to need to go back for as well. Uh, I, I generally try just not to lose on Connect 4. I don't know what the perfect strategy is for beating it at Connect 4. The strategy for um, noughts and crosses is quite simple. Uh, okay, it's, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna go up there now, isn't it? And it's gonna span me. You can't even take too long thinking about what you're gonna do either. There we are. I should trap it. Yes, there. We God, it's hard work that one. There we are. Okay, so see that I was nearly out of time as well. You get very little time for this. But I mean, can you imagine? You get this would cost you a pound. I mean, so like, even if you don't win, you get a lot of gameplay for a pound. I mean, this is when, you know, video, you know, games in pubs, fruit machines, and uh, SWPs, pinballs, all that sort of thing were readily found in pubs where you actually got a little bit of value for money. Extra cupid is basically like a crystal. That's like a little bit more time in the crystal dome. Now I'm going to have to go back round here to get that other coin. If I'm going to go for the 20 quid. So, uh, Linda, I think. Linda, and it's going to be Danny, I think, isn't it? Okay. I mean, I think these games are fairly self explanatory. You don't need me, <laughs> need me to. Plus, I've got to concentrate on what I'm doing. You don't get very much time for them. So, I mean, it's, it's a great game, this. So, it's so. Oh, right. Okay. Now, you can. Kind of how many pieces has it given me? That's not too bad. Because what it what it does like to vary there is how many pieces it gives you. So you can you can pick off the easy ones. So they're fairly obvious. We'll get a hair in, that's obviously going there. That's obviously going there. And you can see me time ticking away there. You do not get much leeway on these at all. You can't really afford to make any mistakes or think about things too much. So, uh, did, did I... I'm sure... Ugh, have I got to go through that physical? I can go round this way. Okay, I'll go... I don't like the physicals. They're... they're, they're how many arms does... Ten? To, I, you know, should I know? I don't know that. I do not know the answer. How many arms does a squid have? I don't know. Passion. I want passion, not Cupid. Passion is good, because that basically lets you fail something. 
There we are. So we'll go through it through the mental. What we're going to have? Noughts and crosses would be good. Uh, how do you fancy meeting at the lusty wench? About eight for a drink. We can have a quick one before going inside for a proper... So you can see it's all very rude, it's all very risque, it's all a bit... You know, we're dancing condoms and running around in the underwear. I'm, I'm sure we get the theme. It's, you know, that that uh, that uh, typical British humour, isn't it? Right, okay. So, we've got the coin down there, and what we'll do now... we want What we actually want to do here is avoid stuff for now. Until... Because we don't know how many sort of things the last coins are going to be behind, so... Once we've got all our coins, or once you've got as many coins as you want, that is when... Hmm. Four? I would have thought it was the 40s after... Okay. Once you've got all the coins that you want to get, that is then when you can try and get extra stuff. So, oh, green, red, two, four, fifty-five... <gasps> Oh, God, there. Okay. I say I've still got it with them. Oh, look at all those bloody things. We've got to get through three questions now to get to that coin. Blue and gold. You know what? I don't know. No idea. I can get... Oh, this is getting a little bit sketchy now. Oh, it's Worcestershire sauce, isn't it? Of course, if we know that one at least. Okay, now we've got to get through films. Character Popeye Doyle. No idea. Oh, it's probably the French connection. I've done. So we've got some passion at least. Okay, now I really want to be a void. I mean, I reckon about 15 Cupid is about right. I've got to go this way. Can you see, if you look at the mini-map, I've got to go this way to get to my partner. So I'm going to ha- oh god, the hardest one. This is so difficult with a mouse. And a track- even the trackball doesn't work too well, if I'm honest with you. Oh no, I think this, this, this may be out of there. Come on. No. Not, I'm not making this one, I'll tell you now. Come on. Come on, one more- come on! No! What the f- Okay, if I, well, if I get this question wrong, I'm out of there. Can't afford to get this wrong. Yogi, so he's a bear. Yogi bear, we know that. Come on, I am absolutely on the bones of my arse here. I've got any bonuses, I've got nothing. And I've got to go this way to get to my partner. Okay, well, at least that's something. So you just go opposite corner. And then you just do... Oh! Sorry, I went the wrong way. I'm... Ah! <laughs> Whoa, God! May have had a sherry too many. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've lost. That was, that was a pretty nasty maze, to be honest with you. Right, I'm going to have another go. I will have another go. I won't subject you to the whole thing. I will bring this back when I'm going into the dome, as it were, for 20 quid. Now, I did put some money through this before. I honestly can't tell you how much because the meters don't seem to work on this. Um, God, how did I miss that fucking line of crosses there? So, I've put a chunk of cash through it, but you've got to remember that eight, uh, SWPs used to work on absolutely abominable percentages, like... You know, like a uh, 30% or 40%. So for it to be ready to pay out a £20 jackpot, it's got to be absolutely flying. In fact, what I might do here is just go all trivia. Because the challenges, I've got to be honest with you, the challenges are really hard work. Uh, the Jolly Roger, I think. Oh, I don't know. Am I supposed to know that? Maybe I am. The the challenges are La Stampa. I don't know. Oh, my God. Italy? There we are. 
can you tell I'm, I'm not very cultured I'm not very travelled I, I don't like leaving the Isle of Man if I'm honest with you the, the issue with the challenges is that they're really quite hard work in the emulator and that's not a criticism of the emulator because like I say that the original hardware was clunky and hard work and it just becomes magnified somehow so apart from that I don't know that per perno maybe Cider? You wouldn't have cider. Fuck off. Man, these questions aren't doing much better, are they? I mean, how are you supposed to know that? Maybe I should be going for the challenges instead. That was fucking awful, wasn't it? Okay, so we'll have another go. We'll go with trivia and challenges again. So we've got a nice easy in for the two of the presents there. So it's put them all nicely together. Um, you do have to have a little look because what it can do sometimes, and it hasn't done it on this map, is it can hide a coin up a dead end um, behind your girlfriend. So you've got to be slightly careful sometimes not collecting all the gifts before you've kind of eyeballed um, oh, okay, we'll do that. Before you've eyeballed where your girlfriend is, because it can stiff you like that. Now, I can never quite work out. Oh, it's just dodged it out. Ah, oh, yeah, bugger. And that's a draw, okay. So we can at least get a bonus. Soup, drink, bread. I, I have no idea. Soup. Maybe it's soup. Oh, fuck, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what the Dutch word for bread is, for Christ's sake. Right, okay. So I could just now go straight to my partner, but the jackpot would only be two quid. And what I want to do here is go for 20 quid. Oh, bollocks, not this one. This one's so hard work. Oh, bollocks. Who played the title in the James Bond spoof? Our man Flint. Never fucking heard of it. What the fuck is that? Oh, right, okay. Oh, for fuck's sake! These are hard. Okay. Okay, I'm just having to punt that. Oh no, we're gonna go up there. This is this is not too bad. This one. So go, come on, go up. Okay, go up and go up this one. Oh, oh, come on. The controls are so hard without the trackball. Right, up you go. Uh, up you go and across. Oh, come on. There we are. Crikey O'Reilly. Climax, yes. The, I know the names are... I know it's all quite funny and light-hearted, but I'm getting quite serious about this now. Oh, shit. Come on, Calico. Which is Britain's most popular breed of dog? Yorkshire Terrier. No! <laughs> ah! Uh, I'm sorry to hear about your lovely little dear. It must have been quite... Oh, come on. It must have been quite a shock to wake up and find it dead. Maybe you could get it stuffed. Yes, it's all, <laughs> it's all very amusing, isn't it? That'll do, right? Okay, let's go through. Oh, actually, I can actually waste a bit of passion here. Nobody wants to be wasting their passion, do they? Okay, well, I should be able to max <laughs> maxed out passion meter. That's something I never thought I'd be saying on YouTube. Right, okay, come on. Oh, oh, the bloody bouncing fucking... Ah! If you're watching this, by the way, then I, could, I could do better than that. You know what? Be my... Oh, fuck! One bloody duck to go. Be my guest and try this yourself. With, with a keyboard and mouse, or even with a trackball, it's not easy. It really isn't. Oh, bugger. Bah, fucking hell. No, I think he's going to make it. Go on, fella. How many cups has this woman got? Right, there we are. We're in. I don't think he's getting any tonight, is he? Right, okay. So, we're, we're kind of through. Right, so I can get that. So, I could go in with a tenner now. I've got to go and find that other coin. I've got a little bit of passion left. A little bit of passion left in the tank. Let's go and find that other coin. 
I've missed sighting of... Oh, there it is. Right, okay. There's 20 quid. Now I want about another seven cupids. Oh, no, it's the impossible one. Oh, fuck. This is just so hard with... Come on. No, it's not happening, is it? Oh, fuck. Ah! Okay, that's out of there. I think I forget. In fact, I think it's going to kill me. If I get one wrong, it's going to kill me. So what we've got to do is go in. I think we've just got to go in and hope for the best. 20 quid. Come on. Oh, I should, I should have left that screen up for a bit longer. Sorry, I'm getting a bit agitated. Oh. oh, dear. Not a chance. 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 Never happening. Never happening. Never happening. Not a chance. Oh dear, no. Oh god, that was awful. That was absolutely awful. No £20 for me. I'm going to have to just keep plugging away at this, aren't I? There is no choice. I think that is her way of saying, nicely, you have underperformed. Now this is a nice maze, though, isn't it? So let's... I quite like this maze. Uh, Wessex sheep. Sounds like a sheep to me. Pig, then. Okay, pig. All right, there we are. So I think, should you know these things? What kind of a pig is a Wessex? I don't know. Don't be the... F okay, we should... Now, let's just not get this wrong. And then... That should be it, shouldn't it? No, I've done it wrong again. So I've got to now... And we've drawn. No, how am I getting noughts and crosses wrong now? Oh, and he can block me there, you bastard. Oh, dah. Can we have passion, please, from our dear friend, Mr. Johnny B. Good, the guitar-wielding condom. It's high-class stuff, this. Sometimes she just twats you, and sometimes you can... Oh, come on, you useless bastard. Oh, dah. Oh, oh, can I do it? No, for fuck's sake! Ah! So there's ten pound jackpot. I've got to go and get. I've still got to go and get that other coin. I may as well. I've got to. Go, I've got to get some more cupid. So I may as well go. Bottom of fourth of July. That's why can't they all be like that? But I know that. Come in late. Come on, you useless bastard. Tap tap. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in, he's in, he's in. Well done, chap. There we are. Job done. So there's me 20 quid. Right, okay. Now, I've got it all going on. Got all my presents. I've got me 20 quid. I'd say I need about three more cupids. And if it wants to give it to me, it will give it to me. Okay, so which country is directly north of England? Scotland. Good. Yeah, more like that would be fine. I've just wasted too much time. Oh, I didn't even put that one in. And that's all over. And everything's fucked. And I hate everything! Ah! 15 cupids. That's the bare minimum that I'd want to go in with. So, there we are. So, it's the crystal dome. You can see it. Basically, we've replaced gold and silver tokens with red and blue hearts. Let's see what we can do. Um, okay. Dear, no, I'm not fancying this. No, it's not. You know what? There's not enough of you. Oh God, oh my, there's just not enough. I mean, it's not. It's not awful. What I probably. Oh, what I, oh, and I'm just doing really bad. What I'll probably do in the wild here is go down to uh, try and get a tenner out of it. Oh, that. Uh, I think I've got about sixty red there, if that. 56, that was... Oh, not a chance. You know what? That's not actually a million miles off, is it? Oh. <laughs> Christ, on a bike. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have one more go at this tonight. And then I'm going to park my ass on the couch and start watching the new season of Santa Clarita Diet on Netflix. 
So let's have a look. We'll, we'll, in fact, my partner's down at the bottom left. Oh, bollocks, he started me off with the worst one. You can go on for hours. What stamina? Fuck off. Oh, fuck off. Right, I give up. I officially give up. I'm not going to do it tonight. Oh, Jesus. I'll have one more go. I'll have one more go at it. This thing is driving me fucking insane. Right, one more go. Last go. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go trivia only. Okay. So I've got all the presents. So all I need to do now is get cupids and coins. So we'll go through here. I'm not sure see which colour flag we need. Um, oh, yellow, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, six. <laughs> it's just not... It's just not happening tonight at all, is it? Crikey, oh my god. Okay, go on. You know, we'll have one more go. One more go. I'm going to go trivia only again, because you know what? At least trivia only gets the agony over with quickly. I could have danced all night. Films from, um, I don't know. Fuck, who watches musicals? Nobody. I'm not 80 years old. I don't watch musicals. Right, okay. Who was the first DJ heard? Oh, dear. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck it. Alan Freeman. Oh, dear. I hope it wasn't Jimmy Savile. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. What what's going wrong here? What what's the what's the big problem? What is what is my major malfunction? Let's go in again. Um switches. Joints maybe? Right, now I'm dead again. Right, you know what? I officially give up on this machine for tonight. I've been playing this for longer than I want to admit, and I've still not got a bloody jackpot out of the feckin' thing, so, yeah. There we are, well done, the mating game. You have beaten me. I will pick this up again tomorrow, but for now, frankly, I give up. I've had enough. I'm going to try and beat this tomorrow. Okay, hello, welcome back. This is the next day. We're now on Sunday evening and I have got this thing. Now, this is video footage that I captured before because I was playing this game whilst uh, Mrs. Degsy and Degsy Jr. were in the room. So I'm just going to narrate over the top of my gameplay footage from earlier today. Now, I'd like to be able to say that I just fired this up very next day, first game, and I got it, and I got the 20 quid. Didn't happen. It did still, it did still take me a fair few goes to get my eye back in with this. And what I realized, once I was just playing the game without trying to kind of narrate and think about what to, uh, what to say next and all that kind of thing, it, it kind of came back to me how much stuff I was missing and how much stuff I was getting wrong. Bear in mind that I haven't really played this game in anger for the best part of 25 years. Because this thing was around in 1994 and 1995. I did have a go with it when it was first released for the emulator. And sort of took it out to a £20 jackpot, and, and that was it. Kind of left it alone after that. It was only when I sort of settled down for a proper session that I kind of realised there was a lot of stuff that I'd forgotten about it. And obviously it needed a fair amount of cash through it to get it ready to go for the 20 quid again. All that said, I should have had the £20 last night, and I didn't, and... One of the most obvious things that I was missing that I was getting wrong was on the final game, you know, the, the crystal dome where all the hearts are coming down the screen. What you do is basically stick on, on the right hand side of the screen and just pick the red hearts off as they come down the right hand side of the screen. Because it's, 
obviously your arrows have got less distance to travel. You can be far more immediate about what you're doing. And then if you see like a nice cluster of red hearts in the middle, you can move over and get them. But you basically want to be trying to pick them off on the right hand side of the screen. So it was real basic stuff like that that I was just getting wrong. And I, I have got, <laughs> I don't know how much time I've spent on this. It's probably another two or three hours, I would say, for me to capture this run. I had a few fails. I had a couple of very, very near misses. But every time that I had a go at it, I was iterating and getting a little bit better. And some of the, some of the games that I was absolutely spitting nails over last night, like the Fruity Frolics one, where you've got to bounce up and down on the seesaw, got my eye back in with that and, and that became not my favourite game but one that I certainly wasn't dreading the um, the kind of shooting gallery one with, with the ducks and the balls I'm still not quite there with that yet but I don't and, and I will still usually fail at that I think there's a, a couple of those in here where I fail at it but I'm certainly getting better at it and I guess what that comes down to is, is back in the day, I, I would play these things for hours and hours and hours because these, these were popular. I don't think they, they didn't hit the critical mass that the um, Crystal Maze SWPs did, but there were a few of these around and I would always play them when I found them. And it's, whilst a lot of stuff did come back to me and I remembered what the games were at the same time, after 25 years and getting to be a bit of an older bugger, there's a lot of stuff also that you're going to forget as well. Uh, and I've also kind of now made peace with the, the controls. I'm not actually sure that using a trackball on this adds anything to it. I've settled on the keyboard and mouse. I've got the mouse for my more sensitive controls. If I'm going to I've got the cat, so I'm just using the mouse for more, more my sensitive controls. And so we put it in, so we put it in sexy vision. It just looks so cool, but I, I don't actually use it like that. I use it like that. So mouse and keyboard. I've, I've retired the trackball. Maybe I'm missing a setting in somewhere, something like that. But the trackball for me when it's emulated doesn't really add anything to it and I've actually settled down now to just using the mouse. So what you're looking at here, this is actually my 20 pound run. Like I say, I cannot tell a lie, it took me, I think I failed on this another five or six times before I got this right. A couple in particular were teeth grindingly close to the extent that for, for one of them, I just couldn't help but emit a Rah! And uh, Degsy Jr. from the other side of the room uh, said, Daddy, it sounds like you're getting cross. And I, yes, I am Becca. She's like, I don't think I will want to play that game because uh, Becca, my daughter, she's quite capable of getting very cross at video games as well. Chip off the old block in that regard. She loves to play video games. So. Now this here, by the way, is also quite a nice map. There is some variance as to the map you'll get. Some of some of the, the sort of mazes, the maps that you'll get are just nicer than others and you can collect things in a more orderly fashion and you can get yourself to the point. And this is one of the nicer ones where you can get your presents collected fairly early, you can get your coins collected fairly early and then you actually have the luxury of just running around the maze using up whatever passion you've got left. I think I've even got a passion like kind of in the tank here that I'm leaving on the maze itself. And this was all stuff that I used to do when I played this for real all those years ago. So in a way, I'm almost glad that I didn't get it last night because it would have been in a way a little bit of a fluke. It's only having put a, a decent chunk more time in it today that a lot of the stuff has come back to me that, that I wasn't getting right last night. There was also, I'll be absolutely honest, there was, there was a few bevies on board last night, so I was not firing on all cylinders, to say the absolutely. So it was a combination of beer and just not having put the time into the game to get back to the level of competence required, because even when it's ready to pay the 20 quid, it will not necessarily 
just drop it into your lap. Now, I'm not particularly narrating over what I'm doing here because we saw all the games last night. We saw how it all works, so I'm sure we're fairly familiar with it by now. But I guess even though I, you, know, you will never get every you never get every question right, and you will never you know get every single challenge completed, but as you can see here, I'm, I'm struggling with it a lot less than I was last night. Although somehow, I've still managed to get noughts and crosses wrong there. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But overall, this, is, this has been a far better run. I guess also you've got to put in, keep in mind that on real machines that are out on location, they're, they're going to be getting play from other people and this is kind of the thing with, with emulation is you're always sort of fighting against yourself i mean that's why autoplay has been such a godsend when it comes to the fruit machines themselves be they awps or club machines autoplay for that is absolutely fantastic because you can achieve that sort of the level of play those hundreds and thousands and even tens of thousands of pounds through a machine that you know with the best will in the world you're just not going to do by yourself certainly not for more than just just maybe one or two machines that you're that you're particularly interested in now the issue with the, with this of course is i can't think of any way to get auto play to actually play this because um You've got the touchscreen inputs. It's not, you can't even do it just through the buttons. I, do. I can't think of any autoplay settings that would at least put money through this for you. So the, the closest you can get really is just put a quid in, click on the, you know, choose your male or female, choose your game mode, let it go into the maze and let it time out. So I did do a fair bit of that yesterday before I started doing the videos. But nonetheless, I think that... It was almost just kind of recovering from the £20 that I took out of it when this layout was originally released. It was a reg release for MFME. And so I, I just had to kind of let put, put a quid in, get into the game, go away and I'll just do something else, do something else on my PC, let it all time out, game over, and then do the same thing again. And on that point, I think it's also worth remembering, I did talk about this last night, is how incredible it has been to play MPU4 video machines again. Um, I honestly never thought that I would be able to play this, you know, I say obscure. I mean, it was, yes, it was, it was a, it had a mainstream release, but in, in the grander scheme of things, a a skill with prizes that was released in 1994 in, in just the UK market is a fairly obscure proposition, certainly when it comes to the, like the worldwide emulation scene. So to actually have the opportunity to play this again like 25 years later has been quite fantastic to the extent that, I mean, let me just, uh, if, do I do, I think I actually do this one because the, the emulation, this, this this machine, fruit machine emulation, the mating game, and getting this video done. There we are, so I've made fairly short work of that there. Has actually taken priority. You see that, I actually got myself the other week there, the bloody things uh, just timed out. Bought myself a new telly and an Xbox One X last week. I've got Burnout Pie Paradise Remastered, which I absolutely love. And yet, somehow, I've been spending my time on... This, not that I resent it, it just goes to show that in a way I'd actually rather do this, even though I've got the very latest high-tech kit sat just a few feet away from me and I can plant my ass on the couch and play games on my shiny new Xbox One X. I actually spent today, or a chunk of today, getting this done. So here we are, we are now into the dough. And what you will see here is that there are a lot of reds in here. And you can also see how I'm picking them off on the right hand side, which is how I used to do this. And then if you see a really nice cluster in the middle of the screen, you can kind of move in to get them. But it's much, much easier if you're just taking short shots on the right hand side of the screen, rather than these kind of speculative long range arrows, certainly from the left hand side of the screen, you never want to be doing that. But there is, I've got to say, there is a nice balance of reds and blues in there so 
and you will see that I actually get this at, at the end of all this with, with some degree of ease. This was a decent run at it. And this is probably more representative of the kind of performance that I would want uh, back in the day on this for real. But that was a pretty comfortable 20 quid. So there's the top prize. And you get a nice little jingle. She looks very pleased with you. I'm sure there'll be other things going on between those blankets in due course. So that was the... The mating game done on 20 quid. I think what I was just saying there is, yeah, so it's, as ever, I think it goes, it, I think it goes without saying in a way, but a massive thanks as ever to everyone who makes playing these things on our PCs possible. Obviously, Wizard himself for the emulator without which, without Wizard, none of this would exist. But also all the people who put so much time into making these layouts I mean, this is a fairly simple one in the fact that there's no artwork or anything like that. But even then, sometimes there's, there's all kinds of uh, trickery or work required just to get the ROMs running, that sort of thing. So, as ever, it is very much appreciated that we are able to play these things again. So I just thought I'd round this one off and actually get the 20 quid out of the mating game. Because I was making very, very heavy weather last night. Thanks to, well, being desperately out of practice and frankly having had a little bit too much beer. So with that done, I think I'm going to go over. I will actually play some Burnout Paradise Remastered and then I'm going to watch a bit more of Santa Clarita Diet Season 2. So there you go. That's the end of this video as ever. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed it and I will see you and next time.